Lastly, Anvesha, uh, like a f- message to the future aspirants who are watching this. Uh, how would you like to conclude? And uh, also keeping in mind the next examination which is coming. Uh, since AIMS will be the conducting body of this exam and you have cleared this AIMS exam uh, with flying colors. So I think uh, what is your take on this next exam? Because they have already laid down a, a notice where they are mm-hmm. mentioning about the integration, like the basic subjects with the clinical subjects. So what is your take on yeah. next? And what message you want to give to aspirants? Yeah, uh, as far as uh, I know about the upcoming pattern of exams, I feel that uh, more stress is being laid to basic concepts like, you know, in understanding every subject and every topic in a wholesome manner and uh, which has been the theme of uh, the INICT exam that was happening for these years. And as I always uh, say that uh, the preclinical and paraclinical subjects, like the first and second prof subjects, which we have known Mm -hmm. till now, these are subjects that, you know, actually take you to the depth of medical science and, you know, where everything arises from, like where everything originates from. So I think uh, to all future aspirants who will be starting preparing from now on, uh, clinical subjects need to be strong, clinical acumen needs to be strong, but I think equal focus should be given to the pre and paraclinical subjects, to the basic sciences. And of course, it's, uh, you know, easier said than done, but because, you know, anatomy parna to kisi ko acha nahi lagta hai, but... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but that is so important then, when you approach surgery and orthopedics yeah. True. exactly so maybe you know maybe it's actually you know a blessing in disguise because now you will be able to you know now anatomy won't appear you know boring or uh, you know meaningless exactly. why am I reading all this maybe it will you know start making more sense so I think it, it might be a good initiative you know to integrate stuff and to change the pattern of learning a bit so that is my advice like uh, equal attention to basic sciences as well as clinical subjects and uh, making things concise which is another thing that i always focus on like like i already told you uh, yeah. that uh, you know even when you're preparing your notes even in the textbook that you are reading wherever it is like or if you have a separate copy just try to make things concise and even though I was the old school kind of person but I think now with you know technology it has become easier like you can uh, make a pdf maybe of the stuff that you want to revise in the last minute so I think that is also very important like uh, because it's a huge syllabus and it is definitely a daunting task to be able to revise these stuff in the last 15 days or the last 20 days so uh, try concising stuff and try paying equal attention to basic sciences and clinical stuff. That is my advice. That's a lovely message and I think uh, you have laid it out very uh, clearly how one should approach next. Mm-hmm.